the history of refuse-derived fuel can be traced back to the last quarter of the 19th century. So it isn't a new concept. But it's been a tough journey for industry experts as early adaptations were fraught with frustration and failure. Today, following breakthroughs in technology, more governments are keen to ensure the benefits of refuse-derived fuel. South Africa has just launched its very first RDF plant. Globally, waste-derived fuels are a very, very big market. In the South African context, though, this is the first uh, plant that, that, that exists. Um, and it exists because we've, we've come up with a novel approach to producing it and partnering with our clients that produce the waste in the first place. Basically, the whole process puts waste to excellent use. On site at our clients, we recycle a wide range of various recyclable materials, such as glass, steel, paper, plastic, uh, etc. The fraction that isn't typically recyclable, but does have an energy value, that we produce at this plant into a fuel that can be traded internationally. The need is not only because we can produce a fuel that we can sell, it's also a means of, of saving the environment and saving our natural resources and satisfying our customers who, who are starting to more and more demand a zero waste to landfill solution. Interwaste says it expects a minimum of 12,000 tons of waste to be converted to alternative fuel annually for use in the South African manufacturing sector. The way that we are able to do this in South Africa at a much, much lower cost than in Europe is because we get away with 20% of the capital cost. And we do this by source separation at our clients' facilities. In Europe, the facilities such as this would take in bags of municipal waste, open the bags and separate the different recyclable fractions before getting a wet material that needs to be dried prior to shredding to produce a fuel. So what we do is we go up the waste hierarchy onto the client site. We separate before the waste gets contaminated. So we're able to produce a very high value, uh, very, uh, very good high CV fuel, which we're able to trade. Um, and, and that's how we can do it. There are specific markets that the company says it hopes to tap into to assist in reducing the overall carbon footprint. Typically, um, we, we've started supplying fuel to the cement industry, but uh, power stations are also our uh, target market, as well as industry. Uh, and we're developing our own combustion technology in partnership with various local and international players so that we can e eventually sell energy back to our clients using the very waste that they give us to, to dispose on their behalf. This is an important milestone for South Africa as companies will be able to lessen their reliance on fossil fuels which are not only detrimental to the planet but are becoming increasingly more costly. Nishina Mohammed for Joburg Today.